Here goes our countdown to the five-minute mark, and as everybody has come to know around here, my favorite moment in the Tri-Cities is we come up on 11, 10 seconds to the five. Six noses have tipped out toward the center of the Columbia River, just awaiting the five-minute mark in three seconds, two seconds, one mark, five minutes. Oh, here we go. Everybody starts to pull away from the dock. Even Andrew Tate is going to come away. Looks like first out is going to be Jamie Nielsen, but once again, J. Michael Kelly in the U8 is going to pop up in the Beacon Electric. He's bringing Dylan Runny with him on his left. He's bringing Corey Peabody in the Beacon Plumbing on the right. The Goodman Real Estate is away. A.J., how about that? All five boats. Nielsen coming up first. Then, of course, we got the Beacon Plumbing. We got the Beacon Electric. Andrew Tate bringing up the rear and uh, in between the U1 and Dylan Runny. This is going to be a great race. We're still watching the flavor pack down here. He he stayed at the dock. He didn't seem to want to even try. He has now come up on a plane away from the dock. So all six boats are up and running for the 2023 Columbia Cup. It's the final heat. It is a winner take all. Forget points, forget all that stuff. Winner take all. Going to get a little crowded up at your end, Michael. J. Michael Kelly along with Andrew Tate, Dylan Runney all cut across the Esco Electric infield. Meanwhile, Peabody and Nielsen come down the front stretch into traffic. Yeah, they're all coming down the front straightaway here with the exception of the U40, the flavor pack. We'll watch the boats as they come down here, pick them out of the sun. J. Michael Kelly is sitting in one. Where is Dylan Runny going to put it? He is just outside of Andrew Tate, but it's a small hole between Tate and Corey Peabody. Keep an eye on it. Looks like now he's got room, A.J., in the blue boat in lane three. Yeah, it looks like he managed to squeeze himself in there. It's hard to say, but, man, looks like uh, we got John Michael Kelly in lane one, and then it does look like Andrew Tate squeezed in and managed to grab lane number two. Outside in lane four, looks like uh, Dylan Runny in the number one, and then Nielsen coming in in lane five right now up the back. It's Just inside three minutes. There's still a lot of milling in this period. Oh, this is This is where it starts to get fun. Anybody coming across the Esco electric infield? No. Not this time. So do they're going to make feel, a full lap, huh? Do you feel that the field, Brad Luce, is going to let J. Michael Kelly hold on to lane number one? Well, with where they are right now, and again, my unofficial timing, Mark, you don't want to be, you don't want to cross start finish line before two minutes, so they're going to be in pretty good position to be behind that. I look for those boats to stay where they are wow. and come all the way down and around. The one to watch, the wild card, is the flavor pack, and Dustin Eccles, who just came out of turn two and is halfway up the back chute. At, at what point can you duck in and try to snake a position? You've got to have room, right? Yep, you've Two got minutes. to have room. Two minutes. Okay. Tell and me right, when they... right now, there's no room at the end. No, there's not. These guys are going to be early. It's going to be early. 154. J. Yeah. Michael Kelly in they one. Are, Andrew are... Tate in two. Dylan Runney in three. They are going fast down the, the front stretch. Oh, my goodness. They're going <laughs> to... Oh, boy, they Way are early. going to be early. J. Michael Kelly is crossing the entrance pin at 136. Uh, oh. The flavor pack and Jamie Nielsen may be in really good shape. Yeah, Jamie Nielsen and Dustin Eccles may be sitting in the best spot. And the reason we're saying that for our new fans that are watching, you cannot drop below 80 miles per hour. If you do, it is a disqualification. Watch those boats up the backstretch coming up on a minute 10 right now. So maybe J. Michael Kelly did the proper math. He got into his parked spot, and he's like, the math in the head Look makes it, he's sense. He's going really slow. Well, yeah. as long as he's going 80 miles an hour, that's all he needs to do. And sorry, you can't cut in front of me. We'll see if it pays off at the start-finish line. He's nailed his start finishes a lot of the heats and stuff. So this, this is not a surprise to me. He'll be going very slow. Yeah, I think that whole group is going to be going seconds, slow. 40 you seconds. want to be at that entrance pin at 20. It's 38 right now. Look at these two boats that are trailing the field. They're going to be able to bring the boat speed to the start-finish line. J. Michael Kelly in lane number one. Andrew Tate lane number two. Runny in three. Peabody in four. He's going to be early. 
they're really early with 20 seconds. They're going to have to drop below 80. We're at 15 seconds, and the race could be over before it starts. Wow. J. Michael Kelly, no choice. He had to go across with eight seconds on the clock. There's still five seconds on the clock early. as Runny goes across. Tate's early. early. Beacon Plumbing's early. Nielsen on the outside with a clean start and boat speed. On the inside of him is Dustin Nichols in the flavor park. Well, we know we've got at least two or three of them across the line. So maybe it is Jamie Nielsen on the outside. Maybe it is Andrew Tate. The start is under review. We will call them as they are on the water. Yeah, right now it's J. Michael Kelly out in front in the bright red Beacon Electric. Oh, my goodness. I think you've got three boats that jump the gun, so this is going well, to be good thing is five laps. We're going to need a while to figure this out, who's in and who's not. In, we'll turn, get... in turn two, Eccles was just having some problems coming through. So Jamie Nielsen on the outside is in pretty good shape. We're going to get the word here from Tana Morissette in just a minute about our jumping the gun situation and how many may have been early. Heading across the start finish line, completion of lap number one of five, J. Michael Kelly, we the leader on the course. Three have jumped the gun, the eight, the one, the 91, all one minute plus. Ooh. So that Jamie leaves Nielsen. Peabody's clean. So Peabody is the race leader out on the course and was clean. Here comes Peabody. He's down just on the outside of Andrew Tate. He is officially your leader because Tate has jumped the start. Second place is the boat running physically fourth on the water. That is Jamie Nielsen in the Legend Yacht Transport. So the white boat with the blue lettering, that's the Beacon Plumbing 9 with Corey Peabody on the Griggs backstretch is in first place. Second place boat is Chartreuse blue and red highlights. That's Jamie Nielsen, Legend Yacht Transport Trust Company, heading up the back stretch. Your third place boat just out of Tire Factory turn number two right now, the Flavor Pack 40 with Dustin Eccles. So just enjoy the ride as long as there's not a major malfunction. The Peabody winning streak will continue. I mean, I know there's still a lot of racing to go, but the way it's set up, this is just kind of a walk in the park, Kazanski. Completion of lap number two, Peabody will pull away from Tate at the Moss Cellar Memorial start finish line and head to all doors incorporated turn number one peabody is our race leader in the nine yeah, and andrew tate's gonna get by him here on the inside but if we know that everybody's jumped the gun so does corey peabody but he's keeping his foot in the u9 the beacon plumbing those boats are tied together here's your official second place boat right now at the entrance pit of the lower corner it's jamie nielsen jamie nielsen moving wide around tire factory turn number two Coming in third place, the U1, Dunny running up behind, and then of course, the Flava Pack in fourth, coming around turn two right now. So back to J. Michael Kelly, who's leading out on the course, but again, suffering the early start penalty as we complete lap number three. Corey Peabody is the first boat not to jump the gun. That's Crossing start finish line now with the race lead as we head into lap number four down the front stretch all doors incorporated turn number one. Yeah, Corey Peabody comes down here in the white U9 of Eakin Plumbing. He's just looking for clean water right now and he finds it outside the run made by J. Michael Kelly, AJ. Tate on the inside and their leader and champion of the Columbia Cup coming down the back stretch right now, Corey Peabody. Nobody has managed to solve this guy. Looks like he's running for another championship. What a great run. Well, uh, to solve a piece of the Peabody puzzle is you can't jump the start. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Give yourself an extra, I mean, one, two, three. And it, you know, especially with Dave Michael Kelly, that's unfortunate. I mean, he was off by 20 seconds. He was G like 20 seconds Oh, early. Jamie Nielsen goes dead in the water at the exit pin of turn number two, Tire Factory turn two. Nielsen is dead. The Flavor Pack going by him on the inside. Flavor Pack, Dustin Eccles now in second place. Wow. Final lap. White flag is out for Corey Peabody. Peabody down the front stretch into Aldor's turn number one. Down here to the lower corner. There are two boats that are out front, or at least appear to be out front. Corey Peabody and Andrew Tate are still tied together, but Tate is a lap down. Bring our leader through the corner and up the back stretch, AJ. There he goes, Corey Peabody. Going to be as long as, you know, he gets through the last lap. Your champion for the 2023 Columbia Cup. 
Corey Peabody heading down the back stretch into home right across start finish line. Up into White's finished furniture and Hardwood's turn number three. Peabody, the race leader on the outside to the apex to Buffalo Brothers, turn number four. Peabody onto the front stretch. Tate still battling. He's not just going to let him go. Oh, there he comes to take the checkered flag. And it is out for Corey Peabody and a perfect weekend for the nine Beacon Plumbing from qualifying to the checkered flag in the final heat. Ah, the freaking Beacon Plumbing, that is. Second place, flavor pack. Jamie Nielsen still without power over there in the Legend Yacht, and that's so, Legend Yacht Transport Trust Company. So unfortunate for that team because he was doing so well and had second place. Now but let, Dustin keep, Eccles will claim that. Let's keep our focus on this because there's still plenty of points out there. Have we kind of shaken out now the, the, the boats that have to run the extra lap? There's still some points out there. So we've got to keep an eye on that. No doubt. Heading to Seattle, you want to get every point yes. in the bucket you can take. Yeah, speaking of the bucket, I'm on my way down to the pit area, but I think Flavor Pack, the U40, and Dustin Eccles is your second place boat, have the positions not changed yet. And then I think J. Michael Kelly, who just bit the bullet and took off, may be in third. And he you just guys crossed look the line. He just crossed the finish line. Yep, we'll get more information from upstairs from the officials. Brad Luce and uh, also Tana Morissette getting us the latest details from upstairs. Again, Unfortunately, the home street, Goodman Real Estate, a little bit early along with the Beacon Electric with J. Michael Kelly. Well, you know, start. it sets up a, a heck of a, a heck of a seafarer to, to wrap up the season. I mean, at least we did have a full final. Unfortunately, three of the boats basically disqualified themselves at the start finish. So I guess technically, yeah, you had a, a final. But still, that's unfortunate. It really is. So, Brad, I don't know. Are yeah. you, you still have your ears on? Yeah, I got it. All the boats heading back to the pits. Yeah, I'm going down to find Corey. Most excellent. And still, Jamie Nilsson waits for the Thornworks construction tow rope to get Corey, towed back in. Corey has made it back. He's on the dock. Corey, I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. <laughs> he turned around and looked. I'm the old man. He's got to wait for me. He's like Fred Sanford. I'm coming, man. Stay cool I'm, with American Radiator. Pit reporter Brad Luce. Come on now. Going to be breathing a little rough in this one, in this little discussion. Corey Peabody being congratulated by crew members of teams here. You got to catch your breath. I'm going to catch mine so we can take a five-second break here. If, if you're going to win the... This is us a couple years ago, remember? Yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. You went swimming. Yeah, yeah. If, if you're going to do this and keep winning...